Celebrate the Ant, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 6. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Which, having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? The Bible here enjoins us to consider the ant, the lowly ant, the ant that can be such a pest in the end of summer as it sends out its scouts and troops to find massive amounts of food to hold them or tide them over during the winter months. We end up taking cans of bug spray and put out little ant traps to try to to annihilate the ants, but maybe we should celebrate them. They seem to be doing better than us in at least one area, and that's the area of work. Listen to how they're described. They're described as being hard workers. They understand that winter is coming. They make preparation for the lean times ahead. They work together. They don't have anybody that bosses them around. They just do the right thing. They thrive. They survive. These lowly ants have somehow gathered together and accomplished purposes greater than themselves. You and I could certainly learn from them. Are there any areas... Any tasks that you have during the week that you hate doing, and maybe that that hating doing shows up in your attitude and you grumble and complain when you got to do it, perhaps you could instead go to God and remember that he says, to, whatsoever thou doest, do it with all thy heart, not unto men, but unto the Lord. Whatever you're doing, do it for God, not just to make your boss happy. And not just to get somebody off your back, do it because God has called you to do it. And that makes it a high and holy thing. So whether you're washing dishes for the 10th time this week and nobody else seems to pitch in, or whether you're doing a job like shoveling snow, I kind of hate that, but God gives me strength to do it. And I should be glad that I got have the strength to accomplish those purposes. And I should be doing it for him. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, help us not to be lazy. Help us, God, to instead have a, an ethic of work that causes us to throw ourselves into the task that we have at hand. Help us to be good witnesses with our work ethic, that we might win the loss to you. That if we have unsaved co-workers, they would see how hard we work and want to know the God we serve. Lord, I just pray that you'd help us to accomplish your purposes within our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night. Shalom.